Hey there! Today I've got a quick tip on how to get you up and running with sculpting in Maya 2020. So before we dive in, please subscribe, hit that like button, share, comment below. Let's do this. All right, so we are in Maya 2020 on a Mac. And the first thing you need to do is drop in your mesh. We're gonna use a sphere. Go under poly modeling, you can click sphere. And then on the right hand side, go to modeling toolkit. You need to press smooth because we need more polygons to be able to sculpt inside of Maya. All right, I'm gonna do three. Don't go crazy with this. So I've seen this happen dozens of times. Students do this part, they smooth out their mesh, they go to sculpting, and then they press the sculpt button. All right, so I can pick my mesh by left click and now I can sculpt and they're so excited and then, oh, it teleports. By default, let me show you what's going on here. We're gonna go into our sculpting workspace, the top down to sculpting, there it is. So we have enough polygons. We look here, we need to pay attention to the size as well as the strength. But this is so silly to me, why default it's set up to this. All right, this is a default sphere. And when I click, the brush size is just so large. The sculpting is actually just basically making it move. Let's adjust the size way down to like 0.3. Okay, that's better. And it should work, right? No. The reason for that is the strength by default is set way too high. It's just silly. I don't know why it does that. So we also need to decrease the strength. Let's do 0.2 here. So once those two things are set, sculpting is going to be much easier for you, right? It's actually going to be usable. Now, I do not recommend sculpting inside of Maya. It's pretty smooth, but it's just not what it's designed for. Incredibly limited what you can do. Uh, the only time I ever use it is actually for like uh, smoothing out my mesh. Something like this, right? I've got some lumps or something on my mesh. I can come in here, use the smooth brush and really just smooth out some of these forms. So for me personally, I would never sculpt anything inside of Maya, plain and simple. If you can get over the performance issues of Blender, go do that. I prefer ZBrush, but follow these tips if you need to get up and going with sculpting inside of Maya. Thank you so much for sticking around. Thanks for watching this video. It really means a lot to me when you guys subscribe. So please let me know if you'd like to see more content, specific content, and I will see you next time.